Here is a thinking problem on square. It is to find the area of the square with perimeter of 12 meters. Now, how can I find area if I know the perimeter? And that too of a square. That's tricky. Let's figure it out. Let us say that we have a square here. So let me draw one square, right? So square has all equal sides and the angles are right angles. What we know is all the four sides are equal. Now, since I want perimeter to be 12, that means let the side be L, L, L and L. So, how much is perimeter? Perimeter should be equal to 4 times L. L plus L plus L plus L. 4 times L. But what are we given? We are given that perimeter is 12 meters. So, it is 12 meters is 4 times L, right? 4 times the length. 4 times what is 12 meters? So the question is 4 times what is 12? That is the question. And you get it. The answer is very clear. 4 times 3 is 12. Is it okay? 4 times 3 is 12. That means the sides should be 3 each, right? Now if you add 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, and 9 plus 3 is 12. So that means the sides of your square should be 3 centimeter each. Do you see that? 3 centimeter each. So that is the side of our square. Now once we know the sides, you can find the area, correct? What is area? Area equals to length into width. So in the direct in a square, both are same. So area in this case will be 3 times 3. And what do we get? We get 9. And what are the units? 3 centimeter by 3 centimeter. So units are centimeter square. So we get an area of 9 centimeter square. So we can write down our answer. And our answer is area equals to 9 centimeters square. It is very important to include units, right? Since the length is given in meters, oh my god, since the length is given in meters, our unit should be meters. So we'll cross out the C part and we'll write everything in meters, okay? So that is how it helps to check. So you should always check when you do your question. So what we found was that the perimeter was in meters, right? Here it is. So, our unit should have been meters. We'll take, it is 3 meters each side. So, when you multiply, you get meter square. So, our area is 9 meters square. Now, one question for you. Can you tell me in 1 meter square, where should I write? Okay, let me write down here. In 1 meter square, how many centimeter squares do we have? So that is a question for you, okay? It is a bonus question. So the question is, 1 meter square is equal to how many centimeters square? Think about it and let me know. Thank you and all the best.